This video will cover the common tenants page and some of the features you can use to streamline your administration. To access the common tenants page, select the tenants icon on the shortcut bar to your left. This brings you to the common tenants page where you will see a list of tenants by tenant ID. In general terms, this will be your oldest tenant to your newest tenant. You can filter the lease by any of the options in the drop down menu. Currently, we are looking at active tenants we're going to filter to just the tenant name. Just simply start typing in the tenant you want to select. As with other parts of our software, there is a predictive guess once you start typing in the tenant's name. Select the correct name and then search. This will pull up only the tenant you are looking for. For our first example, we're going to resend a password. Simply select the tenant and click send password. Then confirm. The system will automatically email a new password to the tenant. Click on the tenant's name and a screen will display all the relevant information about that tenant. You may edit any of the information on this screen. Click the edit button on the top right and you'll get a pop-up window where you can edit the tenant's information. Next, we're going to check on the tenant's leases. This tenant happens to have two leases. For ease of billing and to avoid confusion, we're going to combine the leases, then just select the checkboxes. Once you have selected both invoices, you may add a remark then click email to tenant. Once email to tenant is selected, you may click merge invoices. Then confirm that you want these leases to be on the same invoice. The next pop-up window will show that the invoices have been combined. You may then view the new invoice with both units added to it. 